It's a little rain in the air, but that ain't stopping us. We got sunshine in our heart right now. In the back right now, that's Janelle Monet singing right now. We're going to get to the interview in just a second, but we're going to let you marinate on that right now. Foxhole listeners, man, this is what it's all about. This is why we do this show, because we get a chance to bring together legends in music, television, cinema, animation, uh, male exotic dancing. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Oh, we, oh, we got to start. Can we get some hand claps already that's coming in right now? We're just going to roll into this thing. Okay. And you remember, it's what's cracking other than the crack of your ass, okay? That's how we get into this thing. What's cracking other than, whenever, whenever I say what's cracking, you say other than the crack of your ass. That's how we get down on serious. Is this your version of Simon Says? Yes. A very serious Simon Says. We're going to get into it right now. Foxhole, listen, is this Jamie Foxx, Foxhole Radio? It's going down. What's cracking other, other than, than the crack of your ass. ass. Oh, my goodness. Yo. Listen, we are here for the Rio 2, Rio 2, Rio 2. Uh, uh, if you haven't seen it, you've been under a rock. Uh, we are here in Miami right now. It's going down. And I happen to be lucky enough to be sitting with the cast of Rio 2 in the building right now. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to start off. We're going to go to my right. In the house, we got... George Lopez. What? In the house, we got... Jermaine Clement in the house. What? In the house, we got... Janelle Monet. Oh, you said it's so sexy. In the house, we got... Sergio Mendes. What? <laughs> Say that again. Who we got? Sergio Mendes. Are you what? understanding who's in the house right now? We got... And, and, and ladies, ladies, he's very good looking. You know, I, I'm, I'm comfortable enough in my skin to say this. In the house, we got... Rodrigo Santoro. Woo! You hear how he said that? <laughs> wow! <laughs> and in the house, we got all the way from Oklahoma. Who we got? Kristen Chenoweth, baby. Yes. And listen, listen, before I say this person in the house, we got this person right now, when I was in college and I saw his movie and I saw this, this first scene with him and Sean Connery, and I saw this young man step into a space and take that space and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with James Bond. I'm talking none other than Andy Garcia. What? Ooh, yeah. In the house we got, oh my goodness. Oh, hi, Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I get, oh my goodness? <laughs> Because we're just so happy to see you, oh, man. Thanks. We happy to be here. <laughs> How great is that? And we'll get back. And in the house, we got the director of Rio. Yeah. Yeah. Carlos Aldana. Carlos Aldana. And, and listen, in the house, we got now, I've watched this young lady, and we'll get into it. Uh, but she has done some things in acting that has really, like, she's really put her footprint and foot in some things. She let people know that she is not playing around the beautiful, the talented. Anne Hathaway. What? So listen, we have the cast of Rio 2 here. We are in Miami. If you're digging Miami, make some noise right now. It's going down. Before we get into it, this is this this movie is called Rio, and it's called Rio for a reason. It's called Rio because this is about Rio de Janeiro. We're here with the director and the creator. Carlos, talk about this. This is your passion project. This is something that you've had in your heart a long time, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm from Rio, so I always felt that I could try to share a little bit of my culture where I come from and but in a way that it's fun in a way that's colorful and fun and something that I can do that you know everybody would appreciate you know all over the world it's not a movie done for Brazil it's not a movie done right. for the US it's a movie done right. for the world and uh, people to right. have fun and enjoy it but wait a minute when you say yeah. keep it real somebody told me that they were from Brazil and in the opening of the first movie they saw their house in the animation. <laughs> like they're like, that's where I live. Oh right there. In the anime, that's how real that's how real it it's is. It's all created. That was a, a merely a coincidence, I think. You know, it was nothing no, not planned. Not planned. My house was there. My, I right? heard my house there. <laughs> Did you imagine when you started this project that you would see these types of people at the table? Did you have these people in mind or was what was the process of that? Well, like I, I thought that this was like like a dream come true. Like if I could get all these people in the house, and then I did, and I was right. like, "What? <laughs> Just like you?" <laughs> hey, I, I, you know, I, I'm happy to talk about your two stars. I'm gonna ask Jesse and Ann, what's it like getting into these characters? Because you know, you know, you guys are serious actors. You know, you use your, you know, you use your facial expressions. You use all those different things. How different was it getting into these characters? Um, well, with this, you can use your facial expressions, but it's meaningless. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's so fun to do because the characters are so sweet. Um, right. uh, you know, and, and then this movie is a continuation of the first movie, so now they have a family. And uh, it's just so much fun, especially working with Carlos because 
Mm. He plays all the other characters when you're recording. He uh, acts it, out the 300 other characters. I try my best. And it's crazy as I'm watching you now. I mean, you are you you really are blue. This is this is yeah. this is really part. Is this part of you in in this character? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I well I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That is so my, my daughter's gonna flip when she when she when she sees it. Uh, and talk about talk about this role. You've done so many great roles right now, but talk about taking on this character and, and how it. What was your process? Well, um, gosh, my process was just really trusting Carlos. I mean, we we just jammed. You know, we, yeah. yeah, we came in. It actually in the first film, it took us a few sessions to figure out who she was to find that balance between. You know, spicy and sweet. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and she wasn't in a really good place in the first one. She was pretty angry. She'd been pretty, like, yeah. you know, kind of the world had messed around with her a little bit. And in this one, she's in a much happier place. She has a family. She's living in a love place. And wow. uh, and, I, and and it was really enjoyable to kind of, uh, I don't know, mature with the character. Right. Now, 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 how difficult is it to get into those characters? I mean, is Carlos, is he, what type of director is this guy? I mean, is he a tough guy? Is he, is he a cool guy? What's, what's up? It's both. Well, it's funny. Getting into character, I think as an actor, you try to get it away from you, and he right. kept trying to bring it back to us. <laughs> but in terms of Carlos, I mean, I, you are so at the top of your game at what you do, and you're one of the purest, kindest people like that I've ever met. And, you know, doing the first one, it was a little scary because you don't know where it's going to go. And then we saw the first film, loved the first film, and I really came back the second time just to get to spend more time with you and bring your beautiful vision to life. Yes! Yes, that's right. It's Fox on Radio, baby. This is we are in Miami right now. The sun is balmy right now. It's a balmy 82 of uh, Foxhole listeners. This is the Rio 2 cast. Now, to the right of me, I've watched this guy. I've watched this stand-up for the past 25 years. No one makes you laugh like this guy. If you haven't seen this dude, he's absolutely amazing. Uh, I saw a kid, six years old, uh, <laughs> that walked up to him and just said, Hey, man, I love your show because his show played at one on, on one network and then it went to Nickelodeon. Now his, his audience is from 3 to 90. I'm talking none other than George Lopez. Talk about your involvement in this, man, and how, how, how you brought your magic and talent to this. Well, I got to tell you, you know, the first time I recorded with Carlos, I, I wasn't prepared, I don't think, for a guy who was that detailed and meticulous in every aspect, every inflection, every nuance. Uh, and uh, it, it's crazy. I mean, the first time I was a little bit caught off guard, and I was like, wow, man, this guy is like really, I mean, he's got qu quite a quite a vision for it. Mm -hmm. The second time, uh, I ate half of a marijuana cookie and went in. Uh, yeah, that's how we go. Keep it fox threw, old, baby. Let them know the process. And threw down. And I've never told anybody that until yeah, right now. Yeah, you can say it on and the fox then, And then I went in there and lit it up yeah. and told him, yo, can I go back and record everything I did the first yeah, time? And he what said, I'm yes. About. Now so, we're getting the real, uh, we're getting the uncensored. Raphael, Raphael, and that's over there, like, Raphael oh my is a little bit. Uh, um, well, you know, she has pains. Yeah, wings. medicinal. He's That's got glaucoma. Bone. He's got glaucoma, <laughs> and, and yeah, so that was a... Just for the record, I didn't know anything about that. No, you did not. Uh, nice. You didn't have the other half of the cookie? Just Nobody knew it right <laughs> Just for the record. I'm saving the other half for three. <laughs> Mr. Clement, Mr. Clement, who I feel, I think at this table would agree, he has the most incredible character. Uh, listen, listen, Jermaine, tell us about your character and how you crafted that person and let our listeners know your background first and let them know how you got to this. Oh, this is that's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> that's a long story. I was born in a in a simple place. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll skip I'll skip ahead to the character. He's just uh, he's the bad guy and uh, in the first one he's kind of He's kind of damaged and evil, uh, angry. And this one, he's uh, more damaged, more evil, <laughs> angrier. It's great. Talk about the musical process, because I hear that you guys crafted that, that, that rap and everything like that. And it, I mean, how did that come about? It was, it was a surprise, really, where they, yeah. they had... I knew I was going to do Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive, and I thought, <laughs> yes, it's the perfect song for me to do. And Shout out to all my same-sex marriages out there. Gloria Gaynor, go get it, go get it. <laughs> it's Fox on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then they, they just... I recorded that, and they said, OK, now we would like you to do a rap. And, uh, <laughs> and I went, OK, is there... Have you written it? No, you were going to write it. Wow. And then, uh, so... Yeah. I, 
So what gives you? How can you just write a rap like that? What's your back? What, what in your background gives you that type of? I grew up in uh, the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not very good at rapping. That's part of that's that's my that's thing. Good, that's my right? thing. I disagree as well. As well, I'll tell you what. The kids absolutely love it. They have a great time. It's Fox O Radio. Uh, listen, we got the cast. Rio Two. We're in Miami. We got all the cultures here. We get, I'm at a table with legends in music. I'm in a table with legends in music. And television and animation, but to a future legend who I got a chance to shake a tail feather with last night at the after after joint. I even gave her mom a lap dance last night. That's how crazy it got yes, right this now. Is true. And her mom was knocking on my door last night. What's going on? No, that, that didn't actually happen. No, 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 no. But I'm talking true. about Janelle Monet. Really, give us, first of all, give us a little bit of where you come from and your music, but then talk about what you did for this and how you yeah. and Carlos got together and made this beautiful music uh, for, this, for this movie. Sure. Well, I'm just very thankful to be a part of such an amazingly yeah. well written animation I think is actually the best and I'm not just saying that because uh, I'm here with you of course but it is so well written and uh, I come from a musical background I'm an artist and I started off independently in Atlanta Georgia and yeah. you know Outcast help open up yeah. doors wow. Sean Puffy wow. Combs open up doors wow. and, Did you know, he? yeah and so Shout I'm here and so Carlos um, actually heard my music and I didn't even know, you know, that he was aware of it. And I have a lot of Brazilian uh, influence in a lot of my songs. And so he said, I want you to do the opening. And we met, we had lunch in Rio. Yes. I spent wow. some time you there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow. I, had, I, I didn't get a up. chance to go. Did you guys get a, to go to Brazil to meet Carlos? Not, not well, no, me. I was there. Because oh, okay. I, 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 I opened up for Stevie Wonder. He was oh. there at Rock and Rio. Oh. 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 Everybody so had to go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I got you, got you, got you. So, yeah. So he, he invited me. And I was a little intimidated because he said the opening. And we met back up in um, the States and uh, there was a process. He said, you know, Sergio Mendez is going to be Woo! executive producing. Woo! So we have to make sure that he loves it. So I wrote this song in like two hours and Carlos said, make sure it's Janelle Monae. I want it to feel like you. So I wrote it just like it was going on my album. I actually wanted it on my album yeah. and they heard it and they were like, no, we want this for the movie. And I said, okay. And so anyway, so we're here and having Carlos's input and when he said he loved it and signed off on it, it was just the, the ultimate compliment. And Can you sing with it a little bit right now? Can we uh, you know, I was out last night, Jamie. Can we just all sing darling, a little bit? Yeah. I wake up every morning thinking about the way you feel. Hey, hey. Oh, I wonder if you know it. And what good is the party if you're not around? Listen to me now. What good is love? Crazy love. Everybody sing with it. Sing with it. What good is love? Fox Show Radio, we got a live exclusive right there. We got real talent here, man. If it's not your love, ain't no auto tune in here. If you can't hit it too, go ahead and get it. I can't imagine dancing without you. How much time we got? Yeah. And shouldn't stop. I ain't feeling nothing to see. Yes. If you ain't right here standing next to me. Ooh. Okay, Jamie, you sing too. Let me try. You sing too. Come on. I wake up every morning thinking about the way you feel. Yeah. If you know it, what good is the party if you're not around? Listen to me now. Yeah. Crazy love. Everybody sing it. This is a crazy love. What good is love? This is a crazy love. That's what I'm talking about, Foxhole. Listen. Yeah. Janelle Monet. Oh, thank you. I'm so thankful. Listen, thank on a dime right now, for all of you people out there who's wondering where the real talent is, it's right here. No auto-tune. Right on a dime. <laughs> fresh out of Club Live uh, with all types of smoke in her lungs true. from other people smoking and all types of Ciroc and Hennessy. And right there. Right there. On, 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 yes. now, talk about the Anything man to the right of you. Oh, my gosh. A, a music juggernaut One of my right musical now. Carlos, heroes. talk about... You're wanting to get Sergio Mendez involved in this. Well, the first idea, hmm. well, the first time that I, I thought about the movie Rio, I thought about music. I cannot right. think about Brazil without music. And I keep thinking, oh, who could be the person that would be that source of music, that could create music that could help uh, make the music feel not only authentic, but feel like something that everybody would appreciate it. 
and the only name that came to my mind is Sergio Mendes. Wow. The uh, one and only, yes. Uh, Mr. Mendes, please bless us with how you got with this uh, project. What was your process in bring, bringing the music to the forefront? And also give, you know, what is the next, what's next for you now? Give us those things. Well, I hope Rio 3. <laughs> oh, anyway. nice. So I met Carlos, like you said. Uh, we're both from Rio, so there's a familiarity nice. about the culture, about uh, you know the music, of course. Yeah. And being born in Rio, it's it, it's a place that it's an uh, incredible place. I, I mean, I used to play in clubs, in wow. Copacabana. How long and, ago? Uh, oh, a few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was very lucky to be around a, a wonderful time of Brazilian music, yeah. the Bossa Nova days. Wow. So I'm talking about early 60s. Early 60s. So, yes. And so, still doing it. And amazing. Yeah, yeah I'm, yeah, I'm blessed, man. Talk, talk about, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me jump to something else. Talk about, you, you've met Frank Sinatra, I'm sure. Yeah, I toured with him twice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Been, yeah. How was that? How was that at that time? Frank, because because myself and Andy Garcia were talking last night. We were in Club Live, and they actually changed Club Live from. Talk about that, Andy. What happened with the well, club? Well, I used to work here in the '60s. The in the Fountain Blue. I used to work here at the Fountain Blue in the social staff over <laughs> Christmas and spring break and the summers. Wow. And that room was called the Laurent Room, and it was wow. a classic Vegas cabaret, you know, yeah. stage kind of like a half moon yeah, yeah. birthday cake kind of room, yeah. you know, yeah. layers like that of people and. Sinatra performed there, and wow. Martin and Lewis, and Tony Bennett, and wow. all the great singers, you know. And they, you know, unfortunately, they they took, you know, they tore it down and created this uh, this and, discotheque. We got Rick, Rick Ross and Lil Wayne up in that bitch. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> I mean, look at the contrast. But I, but but I, I felt you last night that 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 really meant something to yeah, you. Yeah, I think I'm very that. disappointed by wow. it. Wow. Wow. I'm very disappointed wow. because wow. that's a, that's a black box. It's like, you know, it's yeah. good if you like the disco scene, yeah. that's fine, but yeah. you can build that anywhere in any yeah. corner. Wow. The Laurent Room is a place of history so, wow. and, and that I think that should have been respected. Wow, would have been great. Well, talk about those times in those rooms. What, what was that like with, with Frank and Dean and oh, Sammy right. Davis Jr.? <laughs> you know, sometimes, man, you know, Sergio, baby. Yeah. Talk about those times. Well, working was was with Sinatra. The first time I did the tour was in 1966. It was my band, Brazil 66, and Buddy Rich's band. It yeah. was like oh, every, Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich. Fantastic man. drummer. Yeah. yeah. Johnny Carson. Right. And so, I mean, he was incredible. I mean, working with Frank was like every night. I mean, wow. it's just amazing. Amazing. Wow. Now, talk about this. No, I got to tell you something. Yes. Okay, fun. But so, Frank Sinatra, yes. But then you fast forward a little bit, Rio one. And then that's when I did the album with Will I Am. Wow. And again, working with young people like him and now Janelle. For me, that's the, that's the greatest vibe, the, the energy that comes, the. I, I want to learn. I'm always, wow, you know, always learning. Fun. I'm interested in knowing other people's musical realities and what they do and how they write songs. So it's been a wonderful experience working with this dream team, everybody, actually. Fantastic. We are, we're here. Foxhole Radio is going down. Sergio Mendes in the building. Everybody in Foxhole land. This is, I'm sitting at a table with legends. Rodrigo, please talk to us, man. Tell us how you got involved with this, this and where you're from. I know we got to move it along because they're telling us we got other things we got to go do, but sure. just give us this. I'm from New Zealand. Born wow. raised. Not really. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. I'm Brazilian, dude. Brazilian. Yeah, from Rio. Tudo bem. Tudo bem. Uh, I met Carlos in an airplane. Wow. Flying to L.A. And then this, you know, this guy just came with that great expression. A lot of love. I'm like, this guy looks like a nice guy. He came to me and said, look, you know, uh, I'm doing this animation about Rio, blah, blah, blah. And started to explain to me everything. So cut to a month later, two months later, we had lunch wow. in L.A. And, uh, you know, he taught me about mm -hmm. character and everything. And, that and tell it. people the character did you play in Rio. I played Tulio. Tulio is a an ornithologist, yeah. love that word, is yeah. a bird scientist, yeah. in love with birds, his mission in life is to protect the birds, and now in Rio too, he's actually in the Amazon exploring wow. the, the jungle, when he finds something that could be the proof of the blue macaws, nice. you know, that, that they are not extinct, yeah. so he goes on a mission to find them, and a lot of adventures in the middle of the jungle. Right. And Carlos, is it necessary <laughs> that this guy looks this good to play this part, just in general? It's not a requirement. Okay, no, that, you know, I'm trying not to but look it, at his it, eyes, it I'm does, trying to it does help I'm with the to publicity, man. Else. Like, the girls go yeah, crazy. They go so crazy. crazy. Yeah, you know, no, it's a magnet. No. It's a magnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magnet. Yes, yes, I just yes, got to bring it up. I bet some of the boys go crazy, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh-oh. Shout out to all my same-sex listeners. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm a good person Stop. inside, yeah. though, okay? Uh, <laughs> but, you know, uh, looking person. around the room here, 
you're like, hey, no, this is a real looking good in crowd. Yeah, 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 you guys, yeah. Like, you guys I know good. a lot of people yeah. that look good on the inside, but don't look like that. All right, uh, <laughs> uh, we got to keep moving on. Kristen Channel. Yeah, Please talk to us with this beautiful voice and yeah. and tell us where you. Can. I know you're from Norman, Oklahoma. How did you get involved in this in this in this thing? I saw the first one and I loved it. And Carlos came to me and said, "Would you like to be?" I figured I'd be playing a bird as well. <laughs> and he, I went to the studio and he showed me this pink um, frog, <coughs> yeah. poisonous, no, yeah. no doubt. And yeah. I knew I, I saw her eyes on the side of her head blinking, and I knew that was for me. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and you are absolutely fantastic. Mm. And what's yeah. the name of the song that you sing in this movie? Called, um, it's an ode to, I like to say, a little operetta, maybe a little Puccini, yeah. uh, Madeline Kahn esque. Um, it's called Poisonous Love. Really? Now, do we song. get a little bit of it? Do we get a little? <coughs> ah, because this is how we do. We, this we how we do on Foxhole, baby. It's real. Okay, I partied in my bed alone last night. So it's I'm all good. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, poisonous love, standing here, you're so near and yet so far. Like a star. <laughs> oh! Chris, that's amazing. Make sure you go check this movie out. Rio 2 is coming out when? April 11th. Oh, April 11th coming out. April 11th. Fox Hole Radio. Listen, this next man that I'm going to talk with, he's already talked a little bit, but Andy Garcia is here. Please tell us how you're involved with this man and give us, I mean, what you got the star uh, uh, on the Walk of Miami fame. Yes, yeah. Uh, so did Jaime. So did Jaime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the thing is, I was really in, you know, in awe of you and in your company, and I, I watched the way the city uh, embraced you. 1961, Cuban? Yes. I uh, uh, came from Cuba exile, in 61, yeah. uh, Cuban exile. Uh, lived under the Castro regime for two and a half years. Wow. Uh. And uh, finally, my parents said, enough of this. Uh, wow. They had passed a law where you lost the rights to your children to the state. Wow. And uh, that was like the last straw. Wow. So we came here, Miami Beach. We grew up in uh, Harding Avenue there on 86 in Collins. Wow. And, wow. uh, and you and talked about government cheese, which I thought that was interesting. Because yeah. I thought that was just a black thing to get yeah. the government cheese. <laughs> right. No, no. We had this, the Cuban refugee program. Wow. And they would give out spam and powdered eggs and milk yeah. and peanut butter and wow. lard. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's stuff, you know, just basically the basics, like government yeah. rations, yeah, big yeah. big bars of Velveeta cheese. Yeah, that, I know. I trust me. I know. Yeah. But I used to get yeah. it in there. Yeah. Can, <laughs> you couldn't even make a grilled cheese sandwich if cheese never melts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could prop a door up to it. Yeah. It's crazy. You could use but it for you everything. But you could cook spam like 100 different ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I just got a call from Carlos, I guess. Yeah. It was. I remember, you know, yeah. I just said about, you know, come in and uh, talk about this and... And uh, I read the script, and, and it was, you know, extraordinarily well written. Like wow. some of the best writing in in our industry is coming wow. from the animation wow. world. You know, that's. that's cool. And so I was honored to be in it. I loved the first picture, and that my kids had, had seen it. And so I, I was for me, it was a joy to get right. get the call. You know, that's fantastic. And I yeah, met and your I'm, kids. You picked fantastic. Congratulations on beautiful yeah. kids, and your daughters working and doing their thing. How does that feel? Yeah, the proud I got, papa. I got two older daughters who are actresses, and yeah. uh, and and another one's graduating from college, who's also a model. And fantastic. And they're doing well. You know, they're they're fighting the good fight. You know? Well, man, I, I want to say this. I'm a huge fan of you. I'm a huge Likewise, fan of man. all of you guys. This has been fantastic. I got to talk about you for two seconds, though, because I, I, I got to say this. I got to say this. I got to I'm watching your trajectory as, as an actress and just talk about that a little bit. I mean, I watch you take on this this iconic character in Batman, which to me, I, I'm that was probably one of the most like challenging parts right and you killed it just give me a little bit of that for our for our listeners right now how was that and then talk about a little bit about winning an oscar and then we're going to wrap everything up just you, give me a little of that i think you need to talk about what it's like to win an oscar i mean i've, I've talked that's all i do is talk about it on the radio <laughs> <laughs> i'm just trying to make sure they don't forget what's popping you know what i'm saying but i'm doing it for all other kind of reasons i have my oscars in places it shouldn't be anyway go ahead. <laughs> uh you know it was uh I was. I just feel like I was so lucky to be in the right place at the right wow. time. You wow. know, what are the chances that a director like Christopher Nolan wow. is going to pick up the Batman franchise, right. and that the character of Selena Kyle comes around, right. not in the first picture when I would have been too young, but right when I'm the right, right age for right, it. Right. So, I was so happy. Right age of 19. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that, that 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 is true. Don't yeah. don't Google it. Praise the Lord. But it was actually it was actually uh, funny because I, I had to go meet him on a general, and you know I prefer to audition rather than have general wow, meetings wow. because um, it, it, I just rather I'd rather do it than talk right. about it. I got it. 
So um, I'm on the plane getting going out to Los Angeles, and I'm I'm a wreck. I mean, I'm just anxious and nervous, mm-hmm. and you know, sweating from places I didn't yeah. know I could sweat from, wow. <laughs> and, which is of course very Catwoman like. Yes. Um, so I just I remember going to the bathroom and like having one of those heart to hearts with yourself in the yeah. in, in, in the bathroom mirror of the airplane, and going, okay, there's nothing you control about this. This is literally out of your hands. Right. The only thing that you can control is, oh God, I don't know, don't drink. Do not drink a drop of alcohol until <laughs> right. Christopher Nolan makes up his mind. So. Right. I meet him four days later. It goes well. He says, you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing auditions, but I'll let you know, like, when we can schedule that. So I figure, like, all right, I'm just, that, this is gonna, like, i got to keep this going for two weeks. Three and a half months later, wow. <laughs> I auditioned. And, and then you're an alcoholic by the <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I stayed. I stayed through. Made it through okay, New great, Year's. Made great, it through everything. Great, great. And then, uh, and then, about four days after audition, I found out I got the part and went straight out to Smith Street and got a bourbon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And then she won an Oscar for the Miss. How was that? That was man. That was so. That was so surreal. That was yeah. that was crazy because I, I you know, I, I think any actor might not be being totally honest to say they don't at least think about it. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd like to win an Oscar, but that's something I thought, if it ever happened to me, if I was ever blessed with that, it was going to be in my future. So to be the age that I am and to have, and to know what that feels like, to know what it's like to have the 21, ultimate 21, respect 20 of your years <laughs> 21 years old. Just as long as you don't Google you. it, baby, keep going. There it is. Uh, so, you know, to know that, that I did something that people respected, that I've achieved that, and that no one can take that away from me. I'm I'm proud of that, and I'm learning I'm learning how to own that. It's not a natural place for me to live. Yeah. You know, I I still feel very much like you know I, I still come to the table, cap in hand. I want to impress yeah. everybody. Yeah. I want to do my yeah. best. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be part of the team. And yeah. so, just learning to um, own that fact well, that I accomplished something yeah. is is new. Yeah, I, I'm glad you did it because you know sometimes people win those Oscars and they change. Cause I see people win Oscar and start speaking in an English accent and all kinds. Of, you know, after the Oscars, I'm sad. We were there with the crater and I, there I was and all. You know, so I'm glad that you stayed grounded. Carlos, you got the last word, man. It's Rio Two. Why do we need to go see this movie again? Tell us, Carlos. Because it's fun. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Awesome. It, it's fun. It's a good message. It's a wholesome movie, and it has amazing cast in it. Like, and people, I don't. I think it's the kind of movie that you can take. Your kids and enjoy it too, so it's for the whole family. Nice. It's Jamie Foxx's Fox already. We've had a great time here. We go too. I wish I had a million hours to talk to all of you guys. You guys are legends and legends in the making. I'm going to tell you right now what's going down. We're in Miami. Rio 2 is coming out April 11th. 11. Make sure you take the kids over and over again to see it. Look, check this out. Listen, what's cracking? Other than cracking your ass. Yes, yeah. it's going down. And in the house we got. George Lopez. In the house we got. Jermaine Clement. In the house we got. Janelle Monet. In the house we got. Sergio Mendez. In the house we got. Rodrigo Santoro. In the house we got. Kristen Chenoweth. In the house we got. Andy Garcia. Oh, in the house we got. Jesse Eisenberg. In the house we got. Carlos Aldaya. In the house we got. Jamie Fox. Oh! Fox Show Radio, baby. We'll be right back. We're going to take a long break. We're coming back. And we're coming back with Rick Ross. Peace. When I die, heaven better be off the chain because I'm having a ball right now. We'll see you later. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. You were amazing at that.